And also the other effect is, of course, their mass. As mass a result. All right, so those are the isotopes of hydrogen. Okay. Cool. So let's uh, make sure we understand this piece, the difference between atomic mass and atomic weight. Okay. Atomic mass is the mass of one single isotope. So if we go back to our analogy, it weighs 15 ounces, that one, the larger can of tomato sauce. Okay. Um, or it could weigh eight, right? Okay. But the w average, or the atomic weight, is the weighted average. That was the 11 point. Was and that's the one that shows up on the periodic table. Yes. Yeah, so when I look this up on the periodic table, that's the number that I see. It's the average of all the isotopes. That is correct. All right. Okay, good. Okay, so if you, actually here is the periodic table. And so if you look at, like, iron right here, hard to see that, but his weight is 55.845. Now, the thing that's funny about that number is that there are no iron atoms that weigh 55.845. Right, because those are all... Yeah, because it's this is it's the either going to be a little more or a little average, less, right? Of the different isotopes, one mm -hmm. might weigh fifty-five, one might weigh fifty-six, or something like that. Okay, now let's do uh, an example with some math. All right, Mr. Sams, what we want to now talk about, of course, is the um, uh, example here. We got rubidium with uh, atomic uh, weight or mass number of eighty-five, and mm -hmm. also another one that weighs eighty-seven. We okay. know their percentages. What is the average atomic mass of rubidium? All right, so we're going to do the same thing that uh, we did earlier, and so rubidium 85, 85, yeah, 85, that's his atomic mass, okay. we then times that by the percentage, which is 0 0.722, and that comes out to 6 uh, 61.37. Okay, and then rubidium 87 has a mass, or a, a percentage of 0.278, or 27.8%, and you get... Uh, twenty-four point one nine. Okay, and then of course you'd add them up. Watch, folks, as Mr. Sams adds these two right. numbers up. Twenty-four point one nine. It's amazing, isn't it? Plus sixty-one point three seven. I bet you could have done this in your head faster than I did on the calculator. I could actually. Yeah. <laughs> Eighty-five point five six. Okay. Now, does that make sense? Let's look at the masses. The masses are 85 and 87, and we have more of the 85 one. So it should be closer, so it should to, be the closer to 85 sign, and it is. It's, and got, it is. it's higher, yeah. yeah. So that makes logical sense. Okay. Now, yeah. let's do one kind of in reverse. This is okay. the one that everyone struggles with. So the percentage abundance of chlorine 37, what is it? Given the fact that we have uh, chlorine has an atomic mass of 35.45. And we're given the actual values for chlorine-35 and chlorine-37. Uh -huh. So this is actually kind of doing that problem we just did um, uh, a little bit backwards. So to do that, actually, let's get a bigger screen because we're going to need some more space, I think, on this, Mr. Sams. Okay. So you got the numbers memorized in your head? No. Okay, let's get a blank screen to do this, okay? Okay. All right. Very good. Okay. So what you're going to do is take the, what's the weight of the first one, Mr. Sams? Uh, 34.969. And that's going to be times by the percentage, right? Right, which we don't know. Can we call it X? How about we call it X? All right. So if we multiply those together, that would be what? Uh, 34.969 times X, or X. Yeah, that's pretty easy, isn't it? Okay. And then the other one weighs what? Uh, 36.966. And we'll times that call by it y. y. Okay, so then that will be equal to 36.966Y. Now we yep. add these up. What do they add up to? 35.45. Okay. So, wait a second, Mr. Sams. I have a problem. Yes. X and Y, and I only got like one equation. Yeah, you need another equation. I can't do it. Yes, you can. Uh, no, you can't with one yeah, equation. The, the, My the, math teacher taught me. The, well, let's get another equation. Oh. X and Y. Oh, X and the Y. The percentages have to add up to 100. So X plus Y has to be 100. Well, sort except of. we don't write them as percentage of write them as decimals, so the decimals will always add up to 1. one. Ah, we have uh -huh. two equations and two unknowns. This is easy. Yeah, now. exactly. Now we just, instead of having y, yes. y is equivalent to 1 y minus x. equals 1 minus x. There we go. Ah. So let's plug that guy in the y. So this is, guys, how we're going to do this. So it's like 34.969x plus 36.966x times the quantity 1 minus x. Uh -huh. Now, because that... this, I need to distribute the 36.96 to both of these. This is an algebra thing. You guys have seen this before in your algebra class, so this should not be terribly hard. All right. Actually, I should say equals, equals 35.45. Because they'll opt that up to the average. And then I'll say plus 36.966 minus 36.966x equals 35. 
Uh -huh. Now, my math mind is going, I've got x here, and I've got x here. So, so they need, need to go to, together. Yeah, and this is a negative, so we're going to get a, if you to subtract these two numbers, that'll so give you my x term. 34.969 minus 36.966. That gives us negative 1.997. x. x. Now, if I subtract 36.966 from both sides, what do you get? This, of course, adds up to a zero. This adds up to another negative number, negative one maybe, or something like that. We get negative 1.516. So that would be equal to negative one point, what's that again? 1.516. Now, how do we solve for x? Five both sides. By negative 1.997. These cancel. X yep. equals what? Uh, point seven five nine one. So that'd be in percentage land. Let's put that up here. Seventy five point. Seventy five point nine percent. Yeah. Now they always have to add up to hundred. So one hundred minus that. Whoops. And so actually, y is equal to what? Twenty four point one percent. Right. You're doing that on your calculator. I'm See? just showing them what they would be doing because they're going to do it in their calculator. Because I think the question was, if we go back a screen, what was the um, percentage of the chlorine 37? The 37 is the one that weighted 36.96. And if we go back, that was the Y. So the big answer is 24.1%. Yep. And you'll get some practice on that in class. Yeah. All right. I think they're done. With I, the ISO top. Yes, I still want to figure out what topa means. I think topa means. must mean protons. We, we'll have to look it up. What does topa mean? All right, we have, we're doing this in a live audience. Does anybody know what topa means, you chemistry people? Nobody know what topa means. Okay, that's fine. And the cell phone rings in the background. Very cool. <laughs> have a good day. We'll see you in Internet land. Bye.